Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how potential difference changes in parallel circuits. You should then be able to calculate potential difference in parallel circuits. In the last video we saw that potential difference tells us about energy transfers taking place in a circuit. The potential difference of one volt means that one joule of energy is transferred for each coulomb of charge that's moving through the circuit. So in this series circuit we can see that the cell has a potential difference of 9 volts. In other words, the current is carrying 9 joules of energy per coulomb of charge. Now remember that in series circuits, potential difference is split between components. So in this video, we're going to explore potential difference in parallel circuits. I'm showing you a parallel circuit here. Remember that parallel circuits have branches, and some of the current passes through each branch. So we're going to look at potential difference in circuits such as this one. We can measure the potential difference across this cell using a voltmeter like this. In this case the potential difference is 6 volts. This tells us that the current is carrying 6 joules of energy per coulomb of charge. We can now measure the potential difference across the branches. Using a voltmeter on the top branch tells us that the potential difference across the top lamp is 6 volts. And using a voltmeter on the bottom branch tells us that the potential difference across the bottom lamp is also 6 volts. So as you can see, potential difference in parallel circuits is not like potential difference in series circuits. Here's the key fact. For components connected in parallel, the potential difference across each component is the same. So here's a circuit for you and I'd like you to determine the potential difference across the top lamp and the cell. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, this is a relatively straightforward question. As you can see, the potential difference across the bottom lamp is 12 volts. And in a parallel circuit, all of the components connected in parallel have the same potential difference. So that means that the potential difference across the top lamp will be 12 volts, and the potential difference across the cell will also be 12 volts. Here's a slightly more complicated example. I want you to calculate the potential difference across the bottom lamp. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, now in this example, we've actually got two lamps in series, and here they are. These two lamps are in parallel with one other lamp. Remember that for components in parallel, the potential difference across each component is the same. So that means that the total potential difference across the bottom branch must be the same as the branch above. Now looking at the two voltmeters, we can see that the right-hand lamp has a potential difference of 7 volts. This means that the left-hand lamp must have a potential difference of 2 volts. In other words, if we put a voltmeter across both of the bottom lamps like this, the total potential difference would read 9 volts. And that's the same as the branch above, and it's the same as the cell. Remember that you'll find plenty more questions on potential difference in parallel circuits in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how potential difference changes in parallel circuits. You should then be able to calculate potential difference in parallel circuits.